Hi guys, uh, Terry here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to be looking at question six in the January 2020 paper. Um, in this paper here, we have um, the radius of each circle in the rectangle WXYZ shown below is 7 cm. The circles fit exactly into the rectangle. Show that the area of the rectangle is um, 2352 cm squared. So if you want to get the area of the rectangle, what we really need, we need to know what is this length and we need to know what is this length here, right? Once we have those two dimensions, we just multiply them. Now, let's look at this length here. So this is seven, this is the next seven, the next seven, the next seven, the next seven, the next seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So therefore, this length here is going to be 6 multiplied by 7, which is 42 cm. So this here is going to be 42 centimeters. If we look at the other dimension, this is 7, this is 7, this is 7, this is 7, 7, 7, 7, and the next 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this length here is going to be 8 multiplied by 7, which is 56 cm right so the area right of this um rectangle is going to be length multiplied by width or breadth in which case it's going to be 56 multiplied by 42 and that's going to give me 2352 right 2352 cm squared which is exactly what they wanted us to show anyways the next part, calculate the area of the shaded region. Now you already know what the area of the rectangle is. So if you want to get the area of the shaded region, we just have to find the area of one circle and multiply by how many circles we have there. So in total, we have 12 circles, right? So we need to find the area of one circle. So area, right, of one circle. Is simply going to be pi r squared they told us to get us 22 over 7 so let's do that multiply by your radius squared the radius of one circle is 7 so it's going to be 7 over 1 multiplied by 7 over 1 this will cancel with this so basically it's 22 multiplied by 7 so that's 154 right so this here is 154 cm squared that's the area of one circle but we have 12 circles so area of 12 circles right is going to be 12 multiplied by 154 so that's going to give me 1848 so this is 1848 cm squared now that's the area of the white space in the diagram right all the white space there that's the area now you know the area of the whole rectangle so if you want to get the area of the shaded region just subtract those two numbers so area of shaded region right is going to be the area of the rectangle which is 2352 so this is 2352 minus the area of 12 circles which is 1848 and that's going to give me 504 right so that's the area of that shaded region there 504 um, cm squared right Alright, so that is part A. Part B now, we have the diagram shows, not drawn to scale, shows a triangle M and P. Um, so they're telling us we have two angles there that are 52 degrees. So this angle here is 52, this angle here is 52, and they want to know what type of triangle is this. So if you have a triangle with two um, angles are similar, this triangle here is an isosceles triangle. Right? So that's the type of triangle that we have here. Now, they want us to determine the value of angle PNM, PN, right? which is this angle here. 
So all we need to do, you know one is 52, this one is 52. And we know that when we add up the internal or the interior angles of a triangle, we should get 180. So therefore to get that angle there, so angle P and M is 180 minus, and we need to add 52 plus 52 degrees right which is 180 degrees minus 5 and 5 10 so this is 104 so this is going to give me 180 minus 104 and you're going to get 76 right so that angle there is 76 degrees right now the last part here now they want us to calculate the area of the triangle now Look at something here. If you know this angle is 52, right? And this angle across here is 52. That means that this length and this length here should be the same. So this length here is 12.5 cm, right? And if we want to get the area of the triangle, we're going to use that formula that has sine in it. So we just worked out this angle and we got 76 degrees, right? So this here is 76 degrees. So all I'm going to do area is given by so there's a formula that says a half by a by b multiplied by sine theta right so it's going to be a half multiplied by those two lengths that we have which is 12.5 by 12.5 multiplied by sine of 76 degrees right when I work this out, so 0.5 multiplied by 12.5 multiplied by 12 point, point multiplied by sine 76 and I'm getting 75.80 as my answer, right? So let's say 75 point Eight, and that is cm squared right so that takes care of question six right so guys please hit like and subscribe and yes i do give online classes right that's maths add maths chemistry and physics i can be contacted via this number right on whatsapp all right